a YouTube in the madness of Bangkok, Thailand. Today's lesson, I'm under no law but God's. So I hope you can hear me over the noise. Today's lesson invites me to reflect on all the laws that are created in this seeming world. The laws of what I have to do to keep the body healthy, the laws of what I have to do to stay out of trouble, the laws of what I have to do to make money, the very laws of needing what the lesson today calls pieces of green paper and stacks of metal discs in order to survive. It's so appropriate that I'm doing this lesson whilst in this uh, artifice of man-made structure. This is what human beings, this is what the ego mind creates. This mad, mad city like all mad, mad cities. Not that I'm holding resentment, I can forgive it, like I can forgive anything else. I can know that this is just a, what happens when the ego mind wants to separate from the oneness of God and create its own laws, create its own structure, create its own world, create its own bodies, create its altar of separation. This is an altar of separation, one of the most uh, obvious ones in this world that I've seen. <clears throat> it's chaos, it's mayhem, and it's a lonely place for a lot of people. You can feel that. I can. I'm very sensitive to these things and I can feel the undercurrent of loneliness that exists for a lot of people in this city. It's palpable. It's affecting. I feel it. And uh, yeah, I'm under no law but God's. I can stop worrying so much about getting it right. And it's funny, when I was doing the meditation today, I heard for the first time, I heard this echo of police sirens as if to remind me that there are the seeming laws in this world and of course that doesn't mean that I can't get in trouble for them it doesn't mean that I can just ignore it the spiritual teacher Muji says just because it's a dream doesn't mean you can do what you want unless you're willing to pay the consequences if you want to go to dream prison for dream 50 years commit dream crimes I don't want to do that in the dream and I don't want to be a dream character that hurts people that harms people, that damages people I've been that person at times in the past I no longer wish to be that person So it isn't an excuse to just do what I want because there are consequences here, there are seeming laws and to pretend that there aren't, to say I'm going to jump off a building because I don't believe in the laws of this realm so I'll just fly, doesn't work. I believe in it enough to be here, I believe in it enough to be a body. So I'm not going to get out of it that easy. But at the metaphysical level, the deepest level, I'm under no law but God's. That's the place that I connect to. That's the place where all of this chaotic separation is actually all connected, all one. That's where the division and the The loneliness, the isolation ends. I can never be alone at my core. I can never be alone at my depth. I'm connected.
connected to all of it. I'm having a dream, a nightmare that's forgotten what reality is. And this place is quite the embodiment of that. I don't mean to down talk it either though because it's fun. It's a fun city to be in if you can forgive your experiences here and enjoy it for what it is. It's not meant to bring deep, profound spiritual fulfillment. It's a place of hedonism and excess and worldly material pleasures. Not a place of deep spiritual connection. Although that too is available as it is anyway. Anyway. Today's lesson, I'm under no law but God. I love you all very much. Thank you for being on this journey with me. I hope you were able to hear me in this video over the noise of Sukhumvit in Bangkok. And uh, I'll see you again soon.